sheriff's office. Um, instead of reading a story, I'm going to be doing a really simple painting. Uh, it's pretty, I mean, I'm by no means qualified to teach art. Never been to school for it or anything like that, so I don't know any of the names of the brushes really. I just know the colors I'm going to use and the shape of the brushes that I'm going to use. But uh, it's pretty easy painting. It's going to be a sunflower and um, it's something that doesn't really take very long. So I've already painted my canvas. This is acrylic paint by the way, so it dries pretty quick. It doesn't take very long. Um, I painted this a light blue color. I just mixed some white paint with uh, Prussian blue and got that pretty light color. I actually started a video early, earlier and messed up, so here we are again starting over. But uh, I already started a really light sketch on the canvas with a regular pencil of uh, the sunflower. So right here I'm just sort of not worried about, it doesn't have to be perfect, it's lead. You know, it races, it wipes off, it gets covered up with paint. I really wouldn't worry about it. The circle doesn't have to be perfect. Just in the corner here, this is the middle of the flower. This sort of darkening where I've scribbled so I don't lose my place. You know, uh, and the petals here, I don't really even know what you'd call this shape, but I'm just sort of like, starting at the top and uh, making a sharp, sharpish shaped end and opening it up as it gets closer to the circle down here. Like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect to scribble your way through it. That's what I do. Um, plus something simple like this makes a pretty good gift for somebody to hang up if they like sunflowers. Do a different color background if you want to. There's really no, I mean, an art, somebody that's qualified to teach art will probably give you some kind of rules to follow with art. I don't personally agree with that because when you're doing stuff like this, you should be able to go wherever you want to in your own head and live in your little world. So if you want a sunflower to be purple, make it purple. And by the way, we had like a 10 minute break into section limit so I'm gonna try to hurry up but no promises um, I'm almost done darkening the petals and I don't know if you can see it but what I'm doing is uh, here's the petal on the top of the flower you see going through here Behind it, there's going to be more because if you've seen sunflowers, they have uh, like petals under the top petals. So every time you get done sort of doing a rough sketch, these top petals uh, come up in between them and make just a sort of a pointy shaped tip right here, you know. And I'm um, coming to the base of the petal, it's like coming down towards a circle and I'm just drawing like a really scribbly line so that's where I'm going to put my yellow ochre instead of bright yellow. Um, this normally doesn't take as long but anyways. By the way for this, I have yellow ochre, I have lemon yellow, burnt umber, which is really just brown, I mean, and I got Mars black, which is just regular black, don't let the fancy names confuse you, it's stupid, I don't know why they, anyways, um, I also have this little pink <laughs> squirt bottle. This is for uh, keeping the paint damp because you don't want it to dry up on you. Like I said, acrylic paint dries pretty quick. I don't know if it's been 10 minutes yet. Has it been 10 minutes? Okay. So we're going to keep going. Um, 
the brushes I have that I'll probably use, some of them I brought just to bring, I guess. I'll definitely be using this, uh, this is a fan brush. It's just sort of spread out like that. I'm only gonna be using this for the middle part here. Uh, actually, before that though, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this middle part black, but it's not gonna stay black. You gotta set undertones under the top layer of the paint. So just for now, we're gonna go ahead and paint this middle part. I hope you guys can see that, this middle part black. Uh, I'm just using a paper plate right now to put my paint on. Oh, by the way, you'll need a cup of water and a paper towel or an old shirt you don't care about. And hopefully this easel doesn't move, but I'm just sort of going along the outlines, you know, um, that way I know where I'm supposed to be painting. Trust me, some of these marks get lost in the acrylic paint after a while. Like I said though, you can paint whatever flower you want to. It doesn't even have to be a flower that exists. I mean, I don't care if you paint this part purple and that part orange. I, like I said, don't worry about making what you're doing exactly like mine, unless you want to. A lot of people get hung up on that type of thing and messes them up. By the way, um, in case there's anybody that does not speak English out there, um, I speak Spanish, so I'll go ahead and translate who I am. Um, me, I'm Robert Norris. Yo uh, trabajo aquí in the uh, Johnson County Sheriff's Office. He, uh, It's Pandora. I don't know how to explain that any different. I'll probably actually try to have a translation video of doing this sunflower again in a couple of weeks. I, I don't really know exactly when we'll be able to do that, but hopefully soon. So we're going to let the black paint dry and I'm going to go ahead and clean off this brush because you don't want to mix with yellow, bright yellow, you don't want to mix anything like black or anything like that. You really want that bright yellow to stick out. So your brush is going to have to be clean. Are we clean? Okay. I got two minutes apparently, so I'm going to try to speed this up just a little bit. I probably still won't, but just know, uh, it's a, just know I'm trying to be quick about stuff, but not too quick to where I lose my place. So, like I said, I just got some of the lemon yellow, and I'm just going ahead and marking where the petals are. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can make adjustments later. Um, towards the end of the painting, you know, acrylic paint, um, it, a mistake is not the end of the world because you can just paint over it when it dries, don't ever throw a canvas away, don't get frustrated and be like, well, I've messed this up, like, I mess up pretty much every painting I've ever done, but I don't let it, I don't worry about it because once it dries, you can just paint right over it, and if some of the mistake shows under the paint, you can just put an, uh, another layer over the paint. So it's not a big deal. Don't get frustrated. This is really easy to do if you just have the confidence to start. You gotta realize nobody's perfect. And nobody's ever taught me how to do this. I just started doing it one day and I got, I wouldn't say good, maybe baddish at it. And people like my paintings. Matter of fact, they 
by him sometimes. I was actually in the news for it in Washington County because I just kind of, I wing it, you know? <laughs> My first paint set was an $8 paint set and I just started throwing stuff at a canvas and being, you know, just not caring what people thought. I just wanted something to do and that's what you should do. Disappear in your own little world if you just want to dis disappear and leave for a while and start trying to do stuff like this. So I'm going to have to take a break for 10 minutes. Or, uh, well, it's been 10 minutes. I'm going to have to take a break right quick. Okay, so uh, we're back with this uh, sunflower I'm painting. Yeah, I was in the middle of doing the outline of the petals. Like I said, you can see behind the petals up top, there's these ones coming in behind them. And I'm still not worried about making it perfect, so don't get hung up on that. Trust me, it'll just make it worse. Um, so I'm just gonna get a little bit more of this yellow paint. Just sort of go back over where I was. Just making the lines a little more prominent. said I was just telling a friend of mine um, I never had any kind of art class because you don't really need one you just got to have the confidence to start just pick up a canvas a brush and some paint and start just don't care how bad you think it's going to turn out because for your first painting it might turn out pretty bad mine sure did well in my opinion anyways um, and especially with the drawing the outline, you don't even have to be a good drawer. I sat here and I scribbled just at everything. It wasn't, there was no skill to it at all. Uh, so you can scribble your way through stuff and paint over it, trust me. So now that I got these outlines, uh, I'm just sort of gonna start painting these petals just yellow, but still not worried about making it perfect. Because you don't really want the yellow to blend in with the yellow lines, because we're going to take care of that here in a sec. And by, by the way, if you need to, you can take a squirt bottle and you can spray your paint so it doesn't dry and keeps it, you know, it'll keep it damp. You don't really want the paint that you're using to dry, so, you know, it just takes one squirt from squirt bottle and it's good for a while after that. And anything like this makes a pretty good present or gift for somebody's birthday that may like sunflowers or like maybe your mom, sister, or whatever, yourself. I mean, if you want to, paint it for yourself and hang it on your wall. Um, uh, sorry about the terminology, because I've never really taught painting. I've never uh, sat in a classroom where they taught it, not even in high school. Never was one of the things I've done. A very odd skill set. <laughs> By the way, if you guys uh, have any requests for me to paint certain things, I'd be more than willing to do that. Superheroes, I specialize in Marvel comic book characters. I can also do realism and scenery. For some reason, um, I just sort of figured it out, I guess. Mm. And like I said, I 
probably have to pause again here in like 10 minutes or something, five more minutes. So when you're making these brush strokes, kind of make them glide with the petal, you know, the shape of it all the way down here to this dark circle. So it gives it that shape, you know, because you'll be able to see the brush marks you want it to have the shape that it's supposed to have. Unless you don't want it to have the shape that it's supposed to have. Like I said, it's your world. Do what you want. Okay. You don't even have to have a blue background, by the way. Red, red would probably go pretty good with this. By the way, actually, when this is done, I almost forgot to mention it. Um, this painting, this one specifically, is going to be given away. Uh, I think they're going to do some kind of raffle or something. You can enter with names and uh, if you want the painting, if you think it's worthy to hang in your house, uh, you can get the painting by entering the name we're going to do some kind of a draw or whoever I think uh, my supervisor my boss basically would say that we uh, are going to see who paints the best one of this and raffle off and give this to that person uh, I personally don't mind either way it's however they want to run it you know I'm just here with a brush and paint doing my thing showing you guys pretty easy painting um, I might be, how much time is passed? Two minutes. Okay, I got two minutes. When you do this, don't worry about going fast or being timed or anything. I'm in that situation because I work here. <laughs> okay, so, actually we do kind of need to take a break right now for a mm -hmm. sec because I need to let this dry so I can start putting some yellow ochre in there and not have it mixed with the bright yellow. So we're going to pause for a little bit. <laughs> 